father is called Miranda these days. It was, admits Frank Turner, something of a risk. She's a proud transgender woman. Writing a song about the recent transition of his estranged parent and the opportunity it's given them to rebuild their relationship. And now my father is Miranda and we're okay. Quite often I find out what I'm thinking about things by writing about them, do you know what I mean? And you, you sort of sit down and you read it back and you go, oh. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I, I was, I was um, pleasantly surprised by, by the sentiments in Miranda. I called Miranda up and said, look, I've written a song that you should hear before it goes on the radio. Um, and she said, fine, send it over. She said, oh, I'm surprised it's not an angry song. And it would have been okay if it was. And I think that's the closest I'm ever going to get to an apology. But it is still, that is an enormous breakthrough in our relationship, simply that statement, you know. Vacancy, job vacancy, His ninth album, FTHC, is an intensely personal project. Writing began before lockdown, but Turner used that time to go deeper into his troubled childhood, revealed in punk tracks like Fatherless. Some kind of ignorance would be nice. It's a form of catharsis in a way. The song about acceptance came first, um, but I felt that it was important to write the angry songs as well because I wanted it to be clear what I was accepting. Because among other things, I, could, I don't need to write anything about accepting gender identity. But there was a lot of pain and anger when I was younger. We are talking to each other. We, Miranda was around at mine um, around Christmas for a while and, and, and we hung out and we had a nice time and we talked about history books and went for long walks on the beach and it was nice. <laughs> With other songs dealing with suicide and his own experience of drug abuse and anxiety, he was unsure how fans would react. It's a very raw record and um, it's quite exposing and that is terrifying. And when, when you get that moment when other people go, yeah, I get you, I hear you, that's a, a magic moment and one that I'm very grateful for in my career. To me. And opening up is paying off, with predictions this album could be Frank's first number one. It's lovely to meet you. Martha Fairley, News at 10, Colchester.